Estamos quase a sair da Colômbia, mais de 4 meses a pedalar. Experiência do Caraças. Estamos cerca de 70 km da fronteira com o Equador. E estas vistas são brutais. Custa, mas é espetacular. Paga todo o sacrifício, meus amigos. We were 22 kilometers from Ipiales, our last destination before Ecuador. We decided to stay in Huachucal and go on the next day to Cuba Lake. From Guachucal we took a taxi to Cubal, and then we took a tuk-tuk to the lake. This was another place that we only heard about it when we arrived in Guachucal. choose the places to sketch. I believe that the places choose me. I let things come to me and feel and feel them. If I, what because I want to tell a story, I don't want to force any stuff. Sketching has been one big reason why I travel. It allows me to see new places and feel them. Once I'm surrounded by these new places that I feel connected, my desire to capture it on my sketchbooks grows. The pure inspiration is when I feel totally connected with the scenery and my drawing. That has been my search for more than five years. I think there is no best places. There are places that you were really enjoying them. At least that's what I feel when I'm sketching them. That I'm really enjoying or because it's so different. We left the lake and we continue our adventure with the bikes. But things got complicated. <laughs> there was a pond, and we would get all muddy if we crossed it. So we went on the plan B, and we passed it to the neighbor's farm. This would have been tough for the two of us, but because we were four, it became easy and fun after all. all right. After we finally crossed the farm, we went straight to Epiales. Las Lares was the perfect scenery to do one last sketch. The church was the biggest attraction in Ipiales, and no wonder why. I could imagine, while I was sketching it, other travelers passing this place before getting to Ecuador.
The most complicated in this sketch was the little time I had to finish it. We arrived late afternoon and I only had one hour left before it was too dark. Anyhow the sketch ended up, drawing Las Lajas was a dream come true. Since the beginning of this tour in Colombia, I wanted to do this sketch. And now that it's done, the journey can continue. A new adventure was coming, and with it, a new search too. Colombia will always be the first country we traveled by bicycle. The roads taught us to be courage when it's difficult, to not be afraid of stereotypes and live intensely, to be open and accept the adventure as it is. For us, Colombia means multicultural and diverse, music and dancing, cyclists, trucks and dogs, excitement and enthusiasm, empathy, happiness, Spanish, colonial houses and buildings, churches, history and culture, avocados with salt, tropical juices, coffee and arepas. Colombia will be in our memories because all the generous and beautiful people with big hearts that cross our paths. And for all we receive during 151 days, we say, thank you, Colombia. I think everyone that comes to Colombia, it will experience Colombia through the people. Yeah. Bueno, señora, muchas gracias. Bueno. Muchas gracias. Saludos, que les vaya muy bien. Gracias. <laughs> they're generous and uh, they have something extra <laughs> that makes interesting <laughs> they they have soul I think people in Colombia they have a lot of soul they have they can transmit a lot of happiness and positivism um, and they are respectful they they will treat they treat us in a very respectful way mm -hmm. if i have to recommend colombia it's basically because of the people and most of the time made our travel more than we were searching for yeah. the travel mm -hmm. During all this adventure, we both were searching for something. Even if we were on the same journey, the challenges were different. For me, the most challenging so far has been 